Hello everybody, happy Monday, hope you had a pleasant weekend, it is time for the Monday Talks, and I was sitting there over the weekend thinking to myself, what in the world am I going to talk about on Monday? Because I have some ideas, but I didn't really give myself enough time to research or get any, uh, you know, uh, materials to open for it, but then I remembered something that I had said to myself a long time ago about a video I was going to do to shout out, and this is a shout out to a very wonderful human being. Let's see if we can get it to focus. There we go. Lisa Zankevich, Lisa Z. Sorry, Sticks, but hands down the biggest Tigers fan out there, the biggest collector of Miggy, and just a wonderful human being. And Lisa is a fan, like like a lot of you guys are, which, which pleases me to no end, uh, whenever I do the history stuff. And I remember a while ago I asked her, had you ever heard of a, a thing called uh, the Mini Museum? And she hadn't, so I was like, you know what, now is time. I went down, I found, I have a couple different ones of these, so we're going to take a look and just take a little 10-15 minute tour of the Mini Museum. A lot of these uh, came from, my sister actually got me a bunch of these, so shout out sister. Uh, these guys are still around. <clears throat> I just haven't looked at their website in a while. And then I purchased a couple others, so I'll have to see which ones I have lying around, and then we can take a look. And this is, like, heavy-duty, high-grade, high-grade stuff. And we've got the little insert there, and it comes, actually, with a little booklet. And he, now here, whoops, well, that went well. In question is the mini museum in the little velvet um, satchel. We'll get to that in a moment. <clears throat> God, it has been forever since I've looked through this. And they have different themes. And here's the certificate of authenticity, the mini museum, uh, yada, yada. That's the man in charge, or at least was back then, Hans Fex. And just a really nice, and it tells you about every different little thing excuse me, that's in here. So we'll just take a quick leaf through. Yeah, the, okay, so this is the fourth edition. I cannot remember what year in the world uh, this came out. A companion guide to the fourth edition. Billions of years of history as seen from planet Earth. And that is not even remotely in focus, and I apologize for that. But this is the stuff that they give you. There's just all kinds of different things. So there's the man in question, there is Hans Fex, and this is the stuff that's in there. Extraterrestrial amino acids, uh, stuff from the Lunar Highlands, <clears throat> and you can see estimated age. And this is the little uh, the photo of the little uh, snippet, very, very small, but considering what it is, it's still really cool. And it's rough age. What do we got here? Copper crystals. They were found in Kazakhstan, estimated to be 300 million years old. This is just, this stuff is just absolutely incredible. And I really got to take a look and read, just sit down and read this book again. All kinds of stuff. Dinosaur food. Yes, <clears throat> I, if I remember correctly, one or two of these may have, oh yeah, that's right. This one actually has a piece of Pangaea, the original, the original continent. But it's just so... So cool. And it's and it's from all over. Like, yeah, see, there's dinosaur bone. We've got fossilized gigantic beaver. Beads from a uh, Egyptian mummy. Stuff from, what was this from Winston Churchill? Oh, part of uh, Winston Churchill's uh, outfit. But <clears throat> I think instead, what we should do is actually just get right into this thing. And I brought over a piece of... Actually, I wonder, can I use this, or would that be too distracting? Well, we're going to play it by ear, because this is clear, um, and it's hard to see, but... Yeah, okay, we're going to need to... No, the white piece of paper is the best course of action, <clears throat> as I thought it would be. But, yeah, like I say, as you can see, this is all clear... All the way down, you can see it is three-dimensional stuff. You've got a little vial. You look at it from the side, and it's just tiny little pieces. Okay, this was 2018, limited edition number five. What was it? 
Oh, 849 of 7,500. So let's just go right up to the top of the left. That's what it is. It's a little microscope slide, very small, but of extraterrestrial amino acids estimated to be, you know, almost 4.6 billion years old. Stuff from the Lunar Highlands. Look at that. Like, I don't know what it is, but it's very, very thin, so it must be just a little shaving of a slide. 3.2 billion years old copper crystals. Those are the ones they found in the Ukraine. Or no, Kazakhstan, I'm sorry. The Great Dying. There's the chunk of Pangaea. You know, what, what the continent was before it split up. It was just one big supercontinent. Dinosaur food. There's a, the paddle of the plesiosaur. Uh, I don't know what that is, but some kind of bone from a raptor. The mega croc. Come on, a mega croc. A little piece of armor. A tiny little vial, which I think is, number one, really cool, of Amazon River water. And is there something in there? <clears throat> I think there might actually be something in there. Can't tell, but there's the elephant bird, eggshell, a mammoth tooth, the giant beaver tooth, the saber tooth cat, because I, oh, maybe it was the tiger, but the bone, piece of, oh, God, that's right, a piece of Stonehenge. That is a stunning little thing. I don't think the colors come through, but it has a little bit of a, like a bluish gray hue to it. Got first millennium BC, mummy beads from the Roman bath, piece of the of a knight's sword, 14th century, piece of obsidian from the Aztec empire, piece of the deck chair from the Lusitania. This is why I love it. It's just, <clears throat> it's like the history relics on... Absolute steroids. Uh, a little portion of Churchill's fur muff. A piece of the Hollywood sign? No way. Piece of the shield window from the Manhattan Project. Brick from the White House, because back in the day it was not actually white. Piece of Muhammad Ali's speed bag from the jet rotor of Concord. A rough sapphire. A Columbia flown tile from the first space shuttle. And a little sliver right there of a human heart. It's now I'm of two minds about stuff like this, and we can just set it here and just actually we'll keep the paper there in case anybody wants to continue to read it. But stuff like this, I'm of two minds. When it comes to like materials, it, there is incredible amounts to learn. Um you know, fossils and whatnot, and just think like when they find Egyptian uh, pyramids and all the old relics. There's just so much information we can be glean we can, that can be gleaned from historical, you know, paleontology in this. But then you get into things like you know the wreckage of the Titanic, and then it kind of turns into then it kind of turns into a little bit of a weird gray area because. We can't really gain much more information about what happened to Titanic than we already have. Uh, and at this point, basically, it's almost it's almost kind of like robbing a grave. Because there, there's nothing we can get from it other than just pieces that they can bring up and put on display. We're not going to get any new information. And that's kind of the area where it starts, <clears throat> where you start to think, eh, maybe we should let it alone. Because we have all that we know about the Titanic. And I don't know. That, it, those are the kind of thoughts I think of. Because, like I say, on one hand, it is incredibly important to the species for us to learn about what happened. Like when they find, um, <clears throat> you know, Egyptian mummies, which they're still finding to this day. Um, you know, they can learn so much about life back then, the climate, what they ate, what, you know, what the water was like. It, it's amazing the amount of things that you, we can tell simply from a tiny little piece of, you know, a leg bone. But, you know, with, with especially with Titanic is the one I always stick to because that's really the only one. Um, because it's also so recent, I don't know. I don't know. The, those are the kind of thoughts I have about this stuff, you know, like with the history relics. Like I say, on one hand, I am so happy to have them. And then at first I was like, yes, but they're also destroying some sort of historical document. And then I got to thinking, well, at the same time, you know, 
maybe it wasn't, you know, it could have been one of many things. You know, copies of some order to some, you know, poor soldier, you know, to break out the toothbrush and hit the latrine, but I don't know. That that that's where I am with that. It's it's an interesting debate. I like I say, I am of two minds about it, but stuff like this will never cease to fascinate and amaze me. And this was the one bit what did they call it? This was edition the fourth edition. Um I guess just life, the billions of years of the universe as seen from Earth. And it's really cool to think about the history that lies in there, the piece of that knight's sword. What did that sword do? You know, who did that sword belong to? And, and that's one of the things I love, <clears throat> excuse me, I truly love best about history is we may never know about a lot of things. And while that's a good thing, it's also very infuriating because we want to know, you know, everything we can about everything. But Unfortunately, just with the passage of time and the, the, you know, the technology we have and the information we have, there are a lot of things that will sadly probably remain a mystery forever. But you never know. Crazier things have happened, you know. But that's going to do it for this, I don't know, kind of interesting Monday. Please let me know what you think down below. I mean, thoughts on... Stuff like this, thoughts about what I've rambled on in general, thoughts if you like this. I can, I've got a couple different more of these, or a couple more of these. Go through them and, you know, take another 10 minutes and see what else kind of interesting we get. Uh, but again, shout out to Lisa Z. She loves the history stuff. So I figured this would be a fun thing. Shout her out. And we can all just enjoy, like I say, 10, 15 minutes. It'll end up being about 13. Of just something very interesting. And something I kind of want to get back into because it's been a while since I've thought about these and I kind of miss seeing what they have. So I may have to check out, check out the website. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just think it's really cool. I mean, plain and simple, you know, like the history by mail, I'm not sponsored by them. I just think it's interesting and I'm glad other people think it's interesting too. So thank you so much for joining me on Monday. Um, it's December. Wow. This year has flown by. So until next time, hopefully you have a great week and we will see you later.